It's one of the most horrific murder cases in this country's history and now one of the four men convicted over the bodies in the Barrels murders could be freed from jail. Mark Ray Hayden helped cover up seven of the 11 killings that took place between 1992 and 1999, including the death of his own wife. Eight of those bodies were found in barrels in a bank vault in Snowtown, around 150 kilometres north of Adelaide. Hayden was the only offender not to be convicted of any murders and was sentenced to 25 years in prison. In May, he's set to leave prison, released without parole or any supervision. For more, I'm joined by criminal barrister James Marcus. Good morning to you. Mark Ray Hayden's sentence comes to an end in May. What's the process from there? Hey, good morning, Nat. Thank you for having me. Uh, so, under our system of justice, Mark was sentenced to uh, 25 years imprisonment and so in May of this year that sentence comes to an end and so him having served his time under our system of justice he will be released from prison. So no supervision, um, no monitoring, is that normal? Uh, ordinarily yes, that's the system that's in place. Uh, the purpose of parole is to uh, give that person some element of supervised release before the expiry of their head sentence. Um, however, in South Australia there does exist a regime of what are called extended supervision orders and that is on an application by the Attorney-General certain offenders who are either a serious sexual offender or a, a serious violent offender, if they pose an appreciable risk to the community, can be placed upon supervision orders which largely mirror parole-like conditions and can, they can be monitored in the community. So is that what this uh, South Australian Attorney-General is seeking now? Uh, it may well be. Um, there is a difficulty in the case of uh, Mark Hayden in that these orders can apply to what are called serious violent offenders. Um, however, the offences for which he was convicted are not directly covered by these orders. Uh, the offence of murder certainly is, and it's also an offence of perverting the course of justice in relation to an offence of serious violence. And so the question is, is Mr Hayden or rather did Mr Hayden pervert the course of justice with his actions. If he did, then arguably he could be subject to an extended supervision order if it's found he poses an appreciable risk to the community. Uh, however, if he does not meet that definition, then such an order cannot apply to him. So, as I understand it, the laws have changed. If he did these things now, they could... He'd, he'd be in jail for longer. Uh, no, the, the laws are largely as they were uh, when he was first convicted. The offence of assist offender still exists. Um, obviously, he received a very significant sentence because of the particular offences for which he committed were particularly repugnant. Uh, but the extended supervision order regime did not exist when he was sentenced. That came in in 2016. Um, however, um, whether it applies to him is a question for the courts to determine. But the laws are largely as they were in relation to the offences themselves. Right, so that's what they'll be deciding now. James Marcus, we thank you for your time today.